Hey guys, um, in this third part of the Fluid Template tutorial, I will show you the necessary establishment code um, needed to use Fluid Template in Typo 36.2. Okay, so now in Eclipse, um, in the first part of this tutorial, we created um, the setup.ts file. Um, now we will open it and we will add the um, TypoScript configuration. Okay, so first of all, we we'll create um, the page object. So page equal page, and in page right here, um, we'll add a new object at the index 10. Um, 10 will be equal to fluid template. Sorry, fluid template. Okay, and now in this fluid template, um, we'll add we'll add um the file. The file will be um the file properties will be um, the file will, that will be used in the templates. So uh, we'll add a case object on the std wrap c object of the file properties. Why? Um, because as you've seen um in the the uh, second part of this tutorial, we had it back in the layout. So um, the case object will be uh, used on the backend layout uh, properties. So um, if the home backend layout will be used, then um, the home template will be used. Same thing for the content template. Um, so here once again, file it as the wrap C object. Okay, we'll add um, key the data. So level field one back in layout next level slide. So now, um, if there's no defined back in layout in the page, then it will use um, its parent back in layout. So we just set the back in layout on the root page on the. the in the second part, so all its child page will have um, its backend layout. So um, that's why we use these properties right there. And then we will slide. Um, we'll override the key properties right here. So key that override the field will be equal to backend layout. So if we define it a backend layout for this page, then it will use this one. So. Um, in home or homepage, it will use its own backend layout, not its parent backend layout. Okay, so now here um, we'll go in list mode in our layouts folder and we'll check uh, our backend layout IDs. So here, home ID is equal to 4 and content is 5. So here we'll have the key object 4 will be your own template. So for the text for the value we call the file name templates um, templates HTML home.html so now we can create those HTML file but we won't edit them as um it will be in the, the third, uh, the fourth part of this tutorial. So we'll create home.html and content new file content.html. Okay, so back in setup.ts, um, five is our content template. So five will value or file and templates HTML content.html. Okay, now uh, we can add variables to our fluid templates. Okay, so here we'll add variables and um, First, we'll create um, content, content 
Um, in content we will just put styles.content.get uh, to use that property style content get um, we have to include the CSS style content includes in our website template as we did in the first part of this tutorial else you won't be able to use that um, then so we had um, the condition on content so content.select where call post will be equal to zero. I don't know if you remember, but in this um, second part of this tutorial, we had it um, clone and rows to or back in layouts. So the call post right, right here is the clone number we um, used while we um, configured or back in layouts. So here call post zero equals to that column so this is our content okay now uh, we can add another column so content right styles that content get content right that select that where call post zero and content left styles that content get content left dot select dot where call post is equal to one so those two variables will be used in our home page and those this um, variable content will be used in our content template okay so now you can save that and um, that's it for the TypeScript part um, in the following part we'll see how to um, edit our HTML fit template to render uh, our content. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next part.